Imagine you're the developer of an open-world sandbox survival game, and you've been working on your game for years and years in its early access stages. But alas, you've always wanted to make an RPG, and making a sandbox game has gotten kind of boring. Don't worry, you don't have to start a new project, or wait for your current game to be done. You can just change your current project to an RPG. After all, you are the developer, and you know best. Hmm, what do RPGs have that this game doesn't? Oh, I know, a quest system. Traders can do more than just trade. Have them provide the players with unlimited quests. Scared the the quest system might be ignored by some players because it's a sandbox game? Don't worry, you're not trying to make a sandbox game anymore. Just make the quest system super OP and nerf every other method of progression, and you'll be fine. Besides, sandbox players like to be forced into playing a certain way. Speaking of playing a certain way, are you tired of players entering a POI any way they want, giving a realistic sense of struggling to survive a zombie apocalypse and the freedom to do so how they wish? Don't worry, you can just turn every single POI into a dungeon, with big loot boxes at the end. This will go really great with your new quest system. And oh boy, it's practically an RPG already. You know, special effects from food, like cold food cooling you off or special green teas curing the runnies, just isn't good enough for an RPG. Why? Because these things make too much sense. Time to add some magical candy. Now just by eating a sugary goodie, you can negate all fall damage, unlock saves first try, aim better, become stronger, or even break rocks faster. They're practically the same as potions, and should be good enough for your RPG. Hmm, players level up doing things by doing those things. But that's unbalanced and would be hard to actually get right. The thing about putting effort into improving and balancing a logical level up system is, well, you have to put effort into it, and nobody wants to do that. Plus, you want to make an RPG anyway, remember? So scrap all that nonsense, and instead, players can level up doing a thing by doing a different thing, much more realistic. Want to get better at mining? No problem. Just go shoot a bunch of zombies and voila, you can dig faster. This is much better because many classic RPGs have this generic, boring system, and you don't want your game to seem like it's not an RPG. So so there's no need to get creative. Meh. Players advancing through the crafting tech system because the tech system builds on itself and is based mainly on having the materials to do so is so ick. How about instead you force players to do more quests and dungeons? Make crafting progress based on magazines that can only effectively be obtained by going through quests and dungeons. Then the player will need to read a few dozen magazines before you can craft the one thing that's needed to progress, and then have to do it again, and then have to do it again. Don't worry, everyone loves quests and dungeons, and RNG will definitely get you the loot you're hoping for right at the time you're hoping for it, and not screw up your playthrough at all. Besides, some of the best RPGs include RNG, right? Hmm, it seems there might not be enough motivation to do the quests and play through the dungeons. How about you add a way to get water? It is a survival game after all. Here we go, a dew collector. Craftable only after a few weeks of in-game quests through dungeons and searching for magazines. I mean, you only need two now, but you know, RNG. See, this will encourage more of that RPG gameplay. What? Players can gather murky water from rivers? Rivers or lakes? Oh yeah, you did add that to the game, didn't ya? Well, it, it would be impossible to balance these two mechanics, and you don't want to give players more options on how they want to approach the game. Remember, you're trying to make an RPG now, not a sandbox game, so it would be best to take away the ability to gather water from... Uh, large bodies of water. Nobody likes things that make sense anyway. RPGs have a class system, and you can sort of add that by limiting the rate a player levels up, virtually forcing them to spec into one particular category of skill for the first 40 plus hours of gameplay, otherwise their character will just be a useless piece of garbage wasting precious ammo that can't be crafted effectively yet because you don't have the magazines for it. <sighs> but I don't think that's good enough. How about we also make all of the clothing in the game contribute to this class system, just like in an RPG. I'm sure we end up removing tons of customization options, but that's okay. Remember, RPG, not sandbox. All right, so now your game has a quest system, dungeons, magical food that basically acts as potions, a class system, a generic RPG boring system, and you've even buffed and nerfed aspects of your game to basically force the player to participate in these systems. It's perfect! See, you've made the RPG of your dreams without having to start a new project. Real talk for just a second. I'm not saying one genre is better than another. In fact, Seven Days to Die as an open world RPG survival sandbox game is a really awesome RPG. The thing that's amazing is that they've turned it into such an incredible RPG of such high quality. It's just when you as the dev sets players' expectations for what your game is and will be, intentionally or unintentionally, then change course to another genre halfway through with, let's be honest, suboptimal PR. I mean, it's probably fine. There shouldn't be any issues with this. Yeah, you're fine.